Imagine this. You're in line at your favorite coffee shop. That fancy $5 latte is calling your name. Now you're in a dilemma. Should you give in to the latte's call or stick to your carefully crafted savings plan? Maybe you're just back home and you discover an unexpected bill in the mail, which makes you wish you had planned better for these unexpected expenses. Does it strike a chord? Don't stress, you're in good company. These scenarios aren't rare but are more common than you'd like to think, and they are precisely why budgeting and saving are so fundamental. View budgeting as your financial roadmap, guiding you towards your monetary targets and saving as your safety raft, always ready to save you from unexpected fiscal turbulence. Together, they build the foundation of financial wellness. If you're fed up with being a marionette, manipulated by the strings of your finances, it's time for a reversal. So if you're exhausted from your money being the puppet master instead of you, stay tuned. Budgeting isn't about depriving yourself of fun. It's about knowing where your money goes and making conscious decisions. Now let's dive into the basics of budgeting. First off, understanding your income. Whether you're raking in the dough from a full-time job, a side hustle, or even benefits, it's crucial to know exactly how much you're earning. This forms the foundation of your budget. Next up, tracking your expenses. Now, this can be as exciting as watching paint dry, but it's the key to financial awareness. You might be surprised by how much you're spending on those daily coffee runs or online shopping sprees. Here's a tip. Categorize your expenses. Fixed expenses like rent and utilities are pretty straightforward. Variable expenses on the other hand, such as groceries and entertainment, can fluctuate and need a closer eye. Now let's talk about needs and wants. Needs are the essentials, the things you can't live without like food, shelter, and yes, internet. Wants, however, are the cherry on top. The little extras that make life sweeter like that designer bag or the latest gaming console. It's easy to confuse wants with needs. I mean who doesn't need a little retail therapy now and then? But distinguishing between the two is crucial. Think of it this way. Needs keep you alive and functioning, while wants add a sprinkle of joy to your life. Here's a pro tip. Try to allocate a certain percentage of your income to your needs, wants, and savings. This can help you strike a balance between living comfortably today and preparing for tomorrow. And finally, remember, budgeting is not about punishing yourself. It's about understanding your financial situation and making informed choices. So if you've been dreaming about that vacation or a shiny new gadget, go for it. But plan for it, save for it, and make sure it fits into your budget. Remember, it's not about cutting out everything you love, but about making smart choices. Because at the end of the day, budgeting is less about restriction and more about freedom the freedom to make choices with, and to enjoy your money without stress or guilt. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more budgeting tips and tricks. Now let's talk about how to actually make a budget. There's no one-size-fits-all solution here. Enter stage left, the 50-30-20 rule. This method is as simple as it sounds. Half of your income goes towards needs, those unavoidable expenses that keep your world spinning. Then 30% is allocated for wants, those little pleasures that make life worth living, and the remaining 20%, that's your golden ticket to financial freedom, going straight into savings or debt repayment. But wait, I hear you cry, I want more control. Well, for those with a taste for detail, zero-based budgeting might be your cup of tea. This method is all about giving every dollar a job. That's right, every single one. From rent to that morning latte, each dollar has a purpose. It's like a financial roll call, and missing dollars will be noticed. For those of you who enjoy a classic, we have traditional budgeting. Grab your trusty spreadsheet or notebook and start tracking income and expenses. It's a bit like being a financial detective, and the case you're solving is your own financial well-being. Now, if you're thinking, that all sounds great, but I can barely remember to water my plants, let alone track every dollar, don't worry, we've got you covered. Budgeting apps are the financial butlers of the 21st century, handling the nitty-gritty while you reap the benefits. Here's the thing though, while these methods are tried and true, they're not magic spells. They won't work, unless you do. The key to successful budgeting isn't about finding the perfect method, it's about finding your perfect method. So, take a moment, think about your lifestyle, your goals, and your financial situation. Are you a 50, 30, 20 kind of person? Or does the thought of zero-based budgeting get your heart racing? Maybe you're old school and prefer a classic spreadsheet. Or perhaps you're ready to let technology do the heavy lifting with a budgeting app. The best budgeting method is the one that you're going to stick with. So choose wisely. Alright, now that we've got a budget, let's talk about how to save money without living like a hermit. First, 
it's time to play detective with your own spending. Dust off those receipts, bank statements, and credit card bills, and look for any patterns. Are you spending a fortune on takeout? Maybe those impulse online purchases are adding up more than you thought. Identifying these areas can help you trim down your expenses and beef up your savings. Next, let's talk about entertainment. Yes, you can have fun without breaking the bank. Think parks over pricey amusement parks, libraries over bookstores, and free community events over expensive concerts. And remember, a night in with a good book or movie can be just as fun if not more than a night out on the town. Now, onto the big stuff. Bills. Yes, those pesky recurring payments that can seem like they're set in stone. But here's a little secret. Sometimes, they're not. You can often negotiate your cable, internet, and even phone bills. A quick call to your service provider asking for a better deal can sometimes lead to lower costs. It's worth a try. In the same vein, don't forget to utilize free or low-cost resources. There's a treasure trove of online courses, library resources, and fitness apps that won't cost you a dime. So before you shell out for that pricey gym membership or online course, do a little digging. There might be a free or cheaper alternative out there. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, embrace the power of no. It's okay to turn down that shopping trip or expensive dinner out. Remember, every no to unnecessary spending is a yes to your savings. With a bit of creativity and discipline, you can tame your spending beast and watch your savings grow. So, let's roll up our sleeves and start saving. Now let's make saving money as automatic as brushing your teeth in the morning. It's all about consistency, folks. Just like your favorite sitcom that drops a new episode every week, your savings account needs regular scheduled deposits. So how do we make this happen? Automate, automate, automate. Most banks offer the option to schedule regular transfers from your checking account to your savings account. Set it up once and let it do its magic every month. It's like having a financial fairy godmother, minus the pumpkins and glass slippers. But don't let the size of your savings intimidate you. Remember the tale of the tortoise and the hare? Slow and steady wins the race. Start with small amounts. Even a modest sum, consistently saved over time, can grow into a mighty nest egg. And every time you hit a savings milestone, even if it's just $50 more than last month, celebrate it. Reward yourself with a pat on the back, a happy dance, or even a small treat. You've earned it. Now here's a radical idea. Treat your savings like a bill. Yes, you heard it right. Just like you would never skip paying your rent or electricity bill, make your savings a non-negotiable part of your budget. This way, you're paying yourself first. It's a simple shift in mindset, but one that can make a world of difference. Remember, consistency is key. It's not about how much you save in one go, but how regularly you do it. So, become the tortoise in your financial journey. Keep plodding along one small saving step at a time. And remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, or in this case, a single dollar. So, we've covered a lot today, but the key takeaway is this. Budgeting and saving are doable, and they're your ticket to financial freedom. Let's recap, shall we? We've mastered the basics of budgeting, understanding our income and expenses. We've explored different budgeting methods from the 50-30-20 rule, zero-based budgeting, to traditional budgeting. Remember the best method is the one that works for you. We've tamed our spending beast, reviewing our expenses, embracing frugal fun, and learning the power of saying no. And finally, we've discussed how to build a consistent savings habit by setting up automatic transfers, starting small, and paying ourselves first. All these steps are your roadmap to financial well-being. So, go ahead, give it a shot. Your future self will thank you. Now, if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We're constantly rolling out content that aims to help you achieve financial freedom. So, don't miss out. Remember, every like and subscribe brings you one step closer to financial well-being. So, what are you waiting for? Join our community today.